Hey, Cookies here. This is the Iron Man crafting guide. Whether you're low level, high level, this is pretty much going to be the go-to of how to do crafting. Um, doing the checking out the other videos that I have on my channel, going over giant seaweed farming and stuff like that. That's going to cover more late game or mid mid game uh, Iron Man crafting. That's how you get a lot of your soda ash. But early on, this is what you're going to do. So all we're going to do, the only real requirement is uh, to have some money, a very little amount of money. And then also you need to be able to get to the fishing port right here at Port Kazard or Kazard. So you can just go to Castle Wars and run up there and use the minigame teleport. Or if you have 15 fishing, you can use the fishing trawler teleport. So we'll go ahead and teleport there. And then all you're gonna bring is just your coins and some lightweight gear if you have it. If not, not a big deal, you don't need it. And we are going to buy some supplies from the charter ships that are here. And these ones are the ones that are like closest to a bank. So it's nice to do it here. So you're just going to trade these charter crew members. And you're basically going to buy buckets of sand. Buy as many as you can. And then you're also going to buy soda ash. Buy as many as you can. And then we're just going to go ahead and world hop. <clears throat> do the same thing again. And we're basically just filling up our inventory with this stuff. Um, so there, our inventory is full. We just run over to the bank. Always use the bank chest. It's not a huge deal, but the bank deposit box is actually farther away because you have to walk like three spaces rather than just walking two spaces like that. But again, it's not like an overwhelmingly big deal. So then we just bank this stuff and then we just run back, keep rinse and repeating, buy a whole bunch. And then once we have some, a couple hundred or, I mean, a couple thousand if you really want to go crazy on crafting, um, but you should only need a couple hundred to get, like, quite a good amount of early, early levels into crafting, um, we're going to grab our teleport stuff, and we're going to go ahead and go to either Port Phasmatis, or we can go to Edgeville, which is the kind of easier spot to get to, so... Um, they're both good spots. We're just basically going to somewhere that has an accessible furnace next to a bank. So we're just going to run over to Edgeville really quick. You can get there however you want. It's just right here by the Grand Exchange and by Barak. And then all we do next is we're going to grab our buckets of sand and our soda ash out of the bank. And you should just grab 14 of each. We'll put all this stuff away, and then we'll go ahead and find our buckets of sand and soda ash. Draw X, do 14, and then we withdraw the soda ash, and then we're just going to run over to this furnace here, and we just smelt it into molten glass. And now I'll pretend this whole inventory is done. We run over to the bank once the inventory is finished. We deposit. We do the same thing again as much as we'd like. And then once we have enough molten glass that we're happy with, we're going to go ahead and use a glass blowing pipe, which I believe you can buy from, uh, gosh, what store sells these? Let me look it up really quick while I'm doing this. You can buy it at the Dorgishan, uh, Dorgish Khan Supplies. You can buy it at... Uh, trader stands trading post in Catherby. Oh, okay. So you can buy it at the the, the same traders that you're buying the. Um, I believe it's the same traders as you bought the supplies from originally. But anyways, get a glass blowing pipe, your molten glass, and then you're just gonna sit in the bank. Oh, look at these other people doing it. And you're just gonna use it on the molten glass, and then you just make the highest level item you can. If all you're doing is going for crafting XP. And then once you get to um, 46, I would recommend just always doing glass orbs. Don't do these other ones unless, again, you're just going for XP. But if you want um, more help for like the mid to late game, just blow glass orbs because uh, you'll need them for other crafting XP for battle staves later on, which are super useful and you're going to need lots. So, And then that's it. And then you get lots of crafting XP. And... That's the easy way of doing it as an Iron Man. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope that helped. See you in the next one.